there, it's Karen here, welcome back and today we're going to do our flip through of the first Moroccan journal. Um, I've loved making this journal, I've really enjoyed all the colours and all the fabrics, it's been such a joy to make um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to just going through it with you and showing all the little things. I have spent a bit of time going through the journal cards that I've been making over the last couple of weeks um, sewing around most of them just to finish them off so hopefully it's all finished. I've also um, had a little disaster um, which I've had to remedy so I'll show you that when we get to it. Hopefully you can't really tell that there was a disaster there but it's all sent to try us isn't it and see how well we can cover things up. So let's just dive in. Right so here we go. So we've got our front Front page just says Morocco, an atmosphere reeking of antiquity, so thick with the dust of ages. So yeah, that's a very appropriate quote. I think that all works well. Um, we've got one of these pieces from Roxy's Weekly Challenge, which is old book page, which opens out to make some writing space. And there's another journal card in there. And that pops into this gorgeous pocket. I love this pocket from this fabric. And we go into, so we've got a, sorry, a tuck, tuck spot here with another little mini tuck spot there. So I've popped in a journal card from the kit. And the kit I'm using, um, I'll try and remember to link them all below once again, is the Medieval Mirage Boho Bohemian Bazaar. I've used kit two with the add-on for the papers and then the add-on from kit one, oh, was it kit one or number one? Um, she's done different volumes. Volume one, I think, is volume one and volume two. So volume two, papers and add-on, and volume one, just the add-on. So I've got extra embellishments. Um, so here we've got a little cluster that you can just unclip and pull apart. And there's lots of little bits, labels, and little ephemera pieces that can be used to write on. And here in the pocket, we've got a nice journal card with another little, with a tuck and another little journal card popped in there or a little tag popped in there and another, this is this is an envelope from the kit so it's it's like I've made it into a, a, a wrap around pocket so this is the journal card that I've tucked in and it was stamped on the actual book page um, base and then I've used the same stamp on some fabric, which is a Tim Holtz stamp called Patchwork, um, just to decorate it so that it's, it's kind of got the same pattern on it. A couple of little circles from the kit. And on the other side, I just uh, made this journal card. Just spent the last two or three weeks just making journal cards, haven't we? For these all these pockets and things that I put in. So here... We have a hidden pocket and a hidden writing space, so that opens out like that for writing. And then hidden in here is a little tiny, well, it's a journal card sort of tag, long narrow one, because it's only going to fit as far as that, because that's where that folds over. That's been sewn around. And that was made from more stamped fabric. That's that. Then we have another pocket here. So it's a pocket, and I think this was a pocket made as part of Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So it's got several pockets there. So we've got one of the cards, uh, journal cards from the kit. One of the tags goes in there. Tag I made as part of, I think that was Roxy's Weekly Challenge, probably. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. This was made with the masterboard that I had. the Mixed Media Masterboard, that's what I use to make this. I really love this one. All sorts of yumminess on there. So we've got some trim, we've got a picture from my from my trip. So it's got everything on that on that one on that one card. Seems to have got everything. And I had another piece of the lovely fabric which I've made into a little pocket there. And another little tag popped in there. So it's a nice little collection of bits and pieces and love it. And this is one of my photographs. I took photograph one of the doors in, in the palace. And so I've 
I put it on here so that you can open it out as a door and inside we've got some writing space. So, and I just put a little bit of sari silk around it to keep the door closed. <laughs> Don't want any drafts, do we? Always a challenge to tie a bow on camera. Especially the sari silk, which is <laughs> it's beginning to fray to pieces, but never mind. Well, we'll manage. There we go. I quite like all the froth, all the frondy bits anyway. It's quite nice. And then we have a pocket here with a lovely big journal card. One of my pictures from my trip. Just various papers from the kit on a... Oh, this was another piece, you can't even tell, but this was another piece of that master board that I had that I did. I, I might try and do one, another one of those sometime. The mixed media -y master board, because I know, because this has got, it's the watercolour, sort of, it's like a cardstock really, on the back. There we are, and that's that. Then we have this envelope. There's the closure, and we can just open that. We can open it, yes, it will open. And then we have this journal card inside. And another little tuck spot here with another little tiny journal card popped in there. So that can go back in. Tuck that back in there. And in this pocket, we've got a little flip pad, little notepad, just made with a variety of papers here. And that's tucked in behind and then we've got a couple of a couple of journal cards from the kit in the main pocket. I didn't back these two, it's, they're a bit thin but I just felt like it was quite a tight pocket so I've left them as they are. They're still writable, it's just white on the back. Then we have this my side pocket, I think this was a shabby dabby doodle pocket, I think. So it's got a journal card in there from the kit. Another one from the kit that I've just embellished a bit. And that's been backed. I think the other one was backed as well, but I haven't sewn around this one. Yep, yeah, that's backed. Not embellished or sewn around, but I don't think it needs it. And then we've got this other one made from the Stamperia paper pad, just tucked in there and that's just plain on the back. There's that and then this one just pulls out for a bit of journaling. There's a removable cluster here and a little teeny weeny pocket there. I might see if I've got any little thing I can pop in there. Should we have a look? So I'm just I have packed everything away, so I've put all the all the leftovers in bag in a, away in a little f little file. But I can easily pull them out again if I need something. So let's see if I've got a little little tag or something I can just pop pop in there. What have we got? Probably a lot of them are going to be too big. That one could go in there, but I don't really like it. <laughs> Um, oh, what about this little one here? Yes, I think that would be quite nice in there. Anything else? Or oh, that one. Maybe that one would be better. I don't know. I like that one better. Okay, so we've got a little, little tag in there. Put all my journal cards and things. I still got all this left from the just from the ephemera, and that is still a fraction of the ephemera that came with the kit. Because if, if you've been watching from the beginning, you'll know that I divided the kits into three. So I've got enough to make. I've got two boxes full still of ephemera to make the last two journals. It's crazy. I've got so much. I feel like I could, I've got enough here probably to make another journal.
Okay, so let's continue. We have a side pocket with this flip up booklet. A few pages in here. And this one says Marketplace definition any sphere considered as a place where ideas, thoughts, artistic creations, etc., compete for recognition. And I thought maybe this could be a place for ideas and thoughts as well. <laughs> That's why I chose that little quote. And right on cue, off goes my video, off goes my, my video, off goes my camera. Oh, I can't even speak. Phone, it was the phone. <laughs> it was another of the other two things. Okay, let's continue. So, right, we have a pocket here, made as part of Rockley's Weekly Challenge. So this is the little journal card that I've made to pop in there. And in the back is one of the envelopes that comes with the kit which has got a nice little journal card inside it. Make sure it goes right down, otherwise it'll get a little pointy bit will get caught. There we go. Pop that in there. Just have it come up a little bit more. That's it. And then we have a um, side tuck with this little bit just holding everything in together and again I've been sewing around so I've sewn around this I didn't sew around this down this side because I didn't want to cut, put any anything else on there I like that the way it was so that's that that was from a master board and it's always a bit it comes out really easily but it's always a bit tricky to get it back in and I think I need to put more a bit more glue on the end of that pocket seems to be a little bit of remedial work that needs to be done when I do my flip throughs. And then we've got in the centre, so we've got a journal card in these two corner pockets. So we've got that one and this one. We put a bit of our snippet there. Another pocket made as part of Roxy's Weekly Challenge with an envelope. Oops. And it's got this journal card inside. And we had, oh, just got to take that out because it was, put that in to stop it sticking to itself. Oh, God, I, I, I don't know quite what I was doing. Something, I thought it might stick. Oh, yeah, I think I was uh, not sure what I was doing, but it. I put that in there just to stop it sticking to itself anyway. Just taking this, can I get the journal card out? Should be able to, shouldn't be a problem. What's got, what's happened here? Is it stuck to itself? Why is it stuck? Just a moment. Um, I've not had a problem with it coming out before, so something, something's going on. Something's got stuck inside there, I think. There we are. Okay. I think some of the glue must have seeped through from sticking this on. So that's the little journal card made from some Stamperia scrapbook paper. And with this gorgeous piece stuck down the middle. Maybe it should be alright now. Okay, and then that flips out for some writing space. That's just a bit of decoration there. And the same bit of decoration, unwittingly, on the next page. Journal card. And then there's another card here. All backed. That pops in. There. And then we've got this pocket, uh, this little, I think it's a, this is the wraparound, wraparound pocket with a little journal card and a tag behind it. 
and this tag has got a little tuck spot another little piece popped in right there actually this I think this has got a pocket as well oh look at that that has a pocket too which hasn't got anything in it we can't have that I'll just get, get my little bag of bag of bits and pieces out again in there. We want something small again, don't we? That look. It's gonna be something very thin too. Hmm, maybe that would work for this one. Everything else is probably too big. Okay, put those aside. Don't think I've missed any more, but you never know. I'll just put it at a bit of an angle. No, put it like that. Okay, so that goes in there, and this one goes behind it. Another journal card on the other side of the wraparound pocket. And then we have a side tuck here. Pocket here from this, from this page. So lovely big tag in there. Another pocket here, a small journal card. One more side tuck. I couldn't help myself. I just stuffed this journal, haven't I? Overstuffed it, you might say. Just couldn't help making things and adding pockets. So this is another one of the stamped fabric pieces that I've made. It makes a lovely journal card. And then appears to be some stance this gorgeous belly band which I love and this journal card which I think goes really well with it too with another one of my pictures this is from the I think this is from the um, tomb tombs place these are all tombs <laughs> a bit cheerful isn't it but yes it's the um, by by of tombs I think it was called something like that anyway I thought that's lovely and here we are at the back, another piece of snippet here. This is the snippet roll which I've used here and there just to put on the edge of some of the pages. And this is where we had a bit of a bit of a boo-boo. Oh, I haven't quite finished that actually. There was something I still need to do. I need to put something here. Um, when I glued this down, there was clearly seepage of glue. So when I was going through it earlier to, to do the sewing around the... Um, journal cards, this was firmly stuck to here. So, so there was all bits of, as I pulled it away, all the bits of paper were sticking to the back of this. So I put another piece of, piece of the Indian fabric on the back here to cover that. I had to replace the journal card because a bit of that had been torn. So that's a new journal card gone in there. Covered this piece up where it was torn. I think it actually looks better for it. But I also need to put something here because, I mean, I just put some of my gold just to cover up the white bits that had been torn. But it definitely needs something along the edge there. So, yeah, I just need to go and find something. Just Okay, so I visited the land of the trims and you won't be surprised to, to learn that I've decided to go with this little piece. I still had quite a lot of that left. And... As I've mentioned many times, it's a favourite because it's the one I bought when I was over there. And um, I love it so much. I was quite happy to have another possibility, another opportunity to add it to my journal. So I'm just going to do little tiny blobs. Just there. 
what I have to be careful of is now is that I don't glue it shut again <laughs> with this glue so I might bring that bit of plastic back into play again to protect the rest this page from being stuck to it okay make sure I cover up the bit that I messed up uh, that was um, torn where well, I just put the gold paint just to kind of vaguely cover it didn't do a very good job though and there we are that is I don't think you'd never know it looks like it's supposed to be there I think it does anyway so now I've got gluey fingers not really what I need so I'm going to use that bit of, it's an old, um, you know, it's a craft mat, a piece of craft mat that had been cut up before. So I'm going to pop that over here so it doesn't stick everything, doesn't stick all the other bits to it. Well, I just close this up one more time. This lovely... Sorry, silk. And there we have it. One more rock and journal, all finished, all embellished, and looking yummy. So, I hope you've enjoyed this this uh, this journal. I, I I think you have. A lot of you have said how much you've enjoyed all the colours, and it's a bit different. I've really loved making it. Um, I will be starting on Moroccan Journal number two in a few weeks, but I have got another project that I'm hoping to get underway very soon in between. Um, it's going to be a, a wedding project, which, <laughs> unsurprisingly, I need to make something to keep all my wedding memories in, don't I? Um, so I think I'm going to do something weddingy for a few weeks. Try not to make it go on too long because nobody wants to see that for weeks on end, but um, that will be maybe for about three weeks I'll work on that three, a few weeks anyway and then we'll start work on our next Moroccan journal which will be very different it's going to be pinks and purples and more yummy fabrics of course um, so yeah I'm looking forward to starting on that and I, I really hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon hopefully sooner than, than later but I'm not sure at the moment so bye for now